If you're upgrading from a previous version of Timer Pro to the latest Timer Pro, you obviously want to bring over your existing data. Uh, to accomplish this in the line balancing, we've got a very simple option here. You click on the file, you do the import. There are two options here. You can bring one file at a time over here, or probably the option that's going to be more popular is to bring multiple balance files over at uh, one time. To demonstrate this process, what I've done mm -hmm. is I've set up a main folder here. And in the main folder, you can see I've got a number of chip files. The CHP file is a flat text file, and that's where we store the data in the previous versions of Timer Pro. You can see you can also have a subfolder here with more data in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run a process mm -hmm. that's going to convert all of the existing uh, CHP files, which are flat text files, to the new CHPX format, those being uh, XML files there. Uh, using the X at the end of the file name is similar to what Microsoft is doing. If you recall, the earlier versions of Excel had .xls extensions, and the um, starting in uh, Excel 2007-2010, it's now .xlsx extensions. So here's our data that we're going to convert in this folder and in the second folder here. Now it doesn't matter whether there's only one folder like you see in this example or there could be any number of folders. We're not just going to convert whatever you find here, it's going to convert everything it finds. In this example we're going to convert maybe a dozen or so files but if your subfolder structure had thousands of files they would all be converted in one fell swoop here. So let's come back in here and we're going to go to file and we say import and we select multiple balances this option right here. Click on that and we locate the subfolder out on our uh, drive here. Now it could be obviously mm -hmm. on your network drive or whatever. So I'm going to come in here and under here I'm going to find my uh, main folder right here. So I open up that main folder. I click on the OK. I've got a little warning here that the main folder will now be searched for version 10 balance files and will attempt to convert the new to the newer CHPX formats. Any existing uh, chip files will not be overwritten. Do you wish to proceed? This means that you've already converted some uh, previously. They're not going to be overwritten again in case we write over some work that you've already done. I'm going to click on the yes here now and it's going to start working here. And what you'll see is it's going to flash each of the uh, files that it's uh, processing up on the screen one at a time here. So you can just sit there and watch it. So maybe a good time to go get a cup of coffee if you get a lot of data. Obviously it'll take a bit of time to do a number of these. But compared to selecting them individually, uh, this is a far better method here. And it's going to find them all here and keep on processing. On completion, you'll get a message that tells you that it's complete and there should be multiple CHPX files in there in the same direct as the old one. So we're actually writing them to the same place where we found them. Uh, click on the OK here. You can see this if I bring back up my folder structure now. So I go to my uh, main folder here and you can see if I sort by type you can see there's the CHP files and here are the corresponding CHPX files. These are the XML files. You'll notice there's quite a bit difference in size because of the different structure here. Uh, this is the ones that are being complete in the main folder and then here's the subfolder. And the same thing is apparent here. You can see we have the CHP ones, the original ones, which are the version 10 and before, and the new one, these are the version 11 formats here. And you would find this uh, throughout the, um, the entire uh, conversion process here. Now there is something you should be aware of if you happen to go back to version 10. If I bring up uh, my process analysis here, and I come over here and I look for that particular folder, my main folder right here, Notice here, what you're seeing is a duplicate of everything here. And what's happening is, you can actually see you've got a CHP version and a CHPX version here. And uh, this is a, a thing with Windows 7 that we've noticed here. Uh, if I come back over to my, uh, di my directory here, and I say I want to see all my star.chp files here, notice it shows me everything. It shows me both the... Um, the CHP and the CHPX formats here. This is a change from behavior that, that, uh, from previous versions of Windows. We're not sure why they did it, uh, but it's a little strange. Uh, if I'm only looking for the CHPX, obviously it's going to find the matches for those ones here. But uh, since we're looking for the CHP files, it's why you're seeing 
both of them here it seems to look for anything following that so again it's a different behavior here and you're going to see that effect right here but again you can easily find the one you want to pick if you're using version 10 or earlier be sure and pick the chp version and that will come right in there for you here